So today I want to talk about race and education. Um, the problem with the Scantrons and the um, having to bubble in our race is a lot of times they don't give us the option to choose multiracial or biracial or mixed. Sometimes there's the option where we can choose black, white, Hispanic, Asian, and we only get to choose one. You know, we can't do much about those except for ask for something else. Or we get to check other and then write in mixed. And I'm sure that other just gets thrown out somewhere. I've actually had a teacher tell me that it's better to choose something because when I put other down, you know, other just turns into a little percent of things and they don't really look to see what that other is because it doesn't fit anywhere. Um, also, I don't like putting down that I'm other because I'm definitely something. I know what I am. I'm not, you know, some crazy race that there isn't any of. I'm a mix of races that are actually down on the form. Then there's the option to choose mixed race and that's not very frequently there but on the census it was it showed up and um, actually when it first showed up on the census a lot of people I think it was like 6.8 million decided that they wanted to choose mixed or they chose two or more races we can fill a, a spot ourselves if you give it to us I actually like the big brother big sister program because I, I just filled out to um, work with kids and they had sections for multiracials and I was so excited and not only did they have a section for multiracial but they had a section for multiracial um, mixed in the black and white multiracial black and Asian or white and Asian like they had the different options there yeah it was only two mixes but they were all there and you know it gave me the option to like really put down what I am and have somebody look at it. And I actually had somebody tell me before that, you know, oh, multiracial is too complicated to put down because, you know, then we're going to have to put down are you black and white or Asian and white. And that's just, there's too many options there to, you know, fill in. No, there's not. You know, there's actually a lot of people that can fit into those categories. Why not just put it there? Big brothers, big sisters can do it. Why can't you? You know, why can't our government do it? Why can't our test do it? Why can't our education do it? And, and the other problem with education that I was talking about is that when I went to college or when I filled out my um, SATs, they asked me, you know, what race are you? And I had to pick one. And um, my dad was saying, pick black. You know, you'll get all of the benefits of affirmative action. But I felt like you know, I wasn't just black. I'm cheating the system if I'm just putting black down, right? I, I feel morally wrong. And it's not, it's not because I am black, but I'm also white and I'm also Native American. You know, I can't just, I can't just pick one. You know, I felt like it wasn't being true to myself. So at the time I put Native American down. And then when I got to college, they actually had the option for mixed because I was able to check more than one. So I checked black, white, and Native American. Um, it wasn't actually mixed, but it was black, white, Native American. I could choose. I could choose to pick all three rather than just one, and I did. But the thing with that is, I didn't receive any minority scholarships because I picked white. Also, you know, it just kind of like knocked me right out, uh, and that wasn't. I, I mean, I didn't need them, and there's a there's some problems with um, minority scholarships and affirmative action. I think really it should be low income people that. Uh, that place well and on their SATs and are edgy, you know, then they should get the scholarships, you know, because they're actually trying to do something. That's aside from the point. In that article um, that I posted under, you know, know us or know our culture, one girl was torn between choosing black or Asian um, because she knew if she put down Asian, it might be looked on that she was already, you know, she was already placed well for the future, you know, rather than if she put black. Because there's because there's this mix that doesn't mean we fit into one place. You know, we're not necessarily Asian and we're already placed well, but we're not necessarily black and we're low income. Put the multiracial down on there. Did you know the GREs don't even have multiracial? They don't have any sort of option for mix. It's just one or the other or nothing. 
it might not be a big deal to you because you're just like, oh, check. I know what to check. Like, it's not hard for you. It's hard for us. And it's hard morally for us. You know, it's not like, oh, we don't know what we are. Oh, the tragic mulatto. No, it's the, you know, am I doing something wrong in saying that I'm black rather than black and white or just white? Am I doing something wrong because I need the money? Am I doing something wrong because I'm uh, turning down a whole section of myself just because it will benefit me in some other way that I really need? Let's say you do the right thing and you put down that you're black and white like I did, then you don't have the money that you needed and you need to pull out a $7,000 alternative loan because you know, you did the right thing and you represented all of your cultures and now you're shit out of luck because you don't have any money to finish college. So, just wanted to let you in on that. And I'll talk to you guys again uh, when something else irritates me. <laughs>